YouTube, YouTube, what's happening, man? If you don't mind go, going on over there, subscribing, hitting me with a like and a thumbs up. Let me know I'm kicking that stuff. This right here, the young homeboy, you know, he see Snoop Dogg, the, the re-involvement of uh, this new death row thing, homie. And uh, he was like, man, do you know anything about the old death row? You know what I'm saying? How did that shit impact or did you know somebody personally from death row, homie? You know what I'm saying? And, and, and of course, all homies from that era we all know Suge, he done came through all our hoods, so that's common, Suge done came through all our turf, homies done jailed with him before and shit like that, you know what I'm saying, and uh, so that's common, we all done met Suge, so uh, I tell him, you know, I'm like shit, I done jailed with a couple homies, <clears throat> Trey Lane, them, you know what I'm saying, because it really, back then, we really wasn't hip on going on the computer. Motherfuckers wasn't, you know what I'm saying, having social media. But the homie Trey, that was with Death Row, hung out with them and all that type shit. I remember being in a blood module with him. And he had pictures upon pictures upon pictures, homie. And he used to just let me run through them, homie. I used to see Dash, Corrupt. All him, you know what I'm saying? And he'll tell me stories and shit, good stories of them having good times and shit, you know what I'm saying? And going places around the world and shit, you know what I'm saying? So that was a homie, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I knew this, I was in uh, high power also in the Los Angeles County Jail with, with a cat named Big, big old motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Up out of Compton and shit. Pop rules. And uh, he used to run stories up to a motherfucker telling the nigga how they was out there having a good time and shit. Biggie was a big old motherfucker. Nigga, nigga shoes might have been an 18 or something. Um, police was like scared of this nigga. This nigga hung with death row in him and shit. But for the kicker of it, you know what I'm saying? I remember being young in the turf, just like in the 90s, something, um, you know what I'm saying? You know, like right when Death Row, when Death Row was hitting, homie, um, you know what I'm saying, when it was on. And uh, kind of like back then, our turf was super deep. So, uh, you know, niggas would be over there, but sometimes when niggas get on, you know, it wouldn't you know, it wouldn't be so many niggas nigga get his bread on and be hanging out and shit like that. So this particular time, you know, I'm on a five hundred. I always stayed on a five hundred most of my time. But being on a five hundred, like I say, niggas would leave and you would just get your turn to hang out there, grind or do your thing, feel yourself on the block. The, I used to sell endo, chronic whatever, you know what I'm saying, and, uh, I wound up getting acquainted with the OG big homeboy, Hanron, out of Compton, OG Paru homie and shit, P.I.P., and, uh, he used to chill, chop it up briefly, hang out with my OG homeboy, Pee Wee from my hood, P.I.P., you know what I'm saying? And uh they was buddies and shit. You know what I'm saying? And uh but to kick in to my personal acquaintance with the OG big homeboy Hanron, one day he come he come through the turf and shit, cause back in the days we'll probably have weed in our hood or something. But just on some blood shit back then, niggas just get out and ride and hit different beat all hoods 
and you might just purchase your weed from other homies, patronize other hoods, and get some weed. You might hear somebody got some fire in the brims. Or you might be like, they got some fire over there in the jungles. You know, or, or you know, some shit like that, you know. There's some fire on the east side, you know. So we, you know, homies kind of patronized, went around and patronized each other. So Hanron used to come down to the turf, you know, and, and fuck with OG Pee Wee. Because OG Pee Wee used to have some fire ass endo. So this particular time, like I say, homies get on. So I'm out there feeling myself to grind on me. I'm doing my thing, homie. So I remember the OG homeboy, big homeboy, Hanron pull up. He with a female. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, he pull up. He like, what pee we at, blood? I'm like, he ain't here right now, big homie. What's happening? He like, blood, come here. So I, 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 I bell up on the car. I'm like, I'm like, what's bracken? You know, we, I'm, you know, this, we blooded out. I'm young. I'm like, what's bracken, big homie? You know what I'm saying? He like, uh, who got some of that indica over here? You know what I'm saying? Cause blood had one of them voices and shit. I'm like, shit, blood, everybody gone. I got some. He like, blood, what you got, man? Go get everything you got. So I go get everything I got and shit. I probably had about $300 worth of weed down there. Indica. Remember blood in the car. Blood eating on, blood eating on a box of chicken. Blood got a black sweater on. Might have been like a designer sweater. Tight neck. Blood on swole couple crumbs on his shirt. Blood like, blood, give me everything you got. What's the total on this? Why you eating and shit? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, blood, that's like 300. Damn near 300. Blood hit me off with 300 and, and a couple extra dubs, homie. And he was like, little blood, stay out here getting your money. Every time I come through, you banged out getting your money. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I was like, yeah, good looking out, big homie. You know what I'm saying? And he pushed off, but I had a couple run-ins with the big homeboy like that solid og big homeboy because back then that's how motherfuckers would do it homies would see you know you grinding you had weed certain homies they would bless you buy you off they seen you as a young homeboy solid doing your thing so you know shout out to the big homeboy pip for, for for just you know showing love and recognizing the young soldier back then homeboy you know so that's my story of having an encounter with an OG big homeboy that was associate of, of the old death row. Now, before I ended, the impact of that death row album back then, I think it was like the murder of the case one that I really fucked with. You know what I'm saying? That shit was like, you know, that shit was gangster music, homie. You know, that was some, that was some West Coast gangster music. Every, every hood probably got different experiences off of that shit. You know what I'm saying? And uh, the way it impacted me, homie, it just, you know, like I said, it was some West Coast gangster shit. I had a Regal then. I used to roll. And, and my cut was Jewel on that motherfucker. And she get to blowing on that motherfucker and shit, you know. Then I think they had the East Side, West Side niggas on that motherfucker. That my OG homeboy like, man. So that was like hood music back then. And then before I wrap it up with the new death row, I personally know the OG big homeboy, CEO Wacko, you know what I'm saying? And I was telling my people, he was a perfect lineup. You know, so gang of homeboys, they got the statue of dude, homie. But if we just had to get our pick, homie, he's a pick of a homeboy, homie, that we all can vouch for as being a solid loyal, reputable homeboy, homie, that taught a lot of dudes in my era, you know what I'm saying, we was able to get some good toology and not foology from the big homeboy, homie, and all levels of this thing, homie, so Snoop Dogg grabbing the big homeboy, that was a good move, power move, homie, and, and, and just a, just a all out, you know what I'm saying, plus, homie, not just because he a homeboy, but just that he got somebody that's solid and loyal on his team, homie. 
that's that got enough pull also to get out in the community and make sure homies is functioning right at these events concerts and functions you know what i'm saying so i want to shout out the big homeboy for uh being able to get in a position that you in with a legendary artist entertainer and a street legend snoop dog homie so you know i just wanted to kick that because my people was asking me about death row homie 89 on up homie we kicking g shit and id shit man tap in subscribe like thumbs up and shit man that's it homie much love everybody